All right, recording. Hey guys, it's July 15th, 2015. I wanted to show you guys, I'm recording on my Nikon D5000 instead of my, quiet, instead of my GoPro. I wanted to show you guys what I made. This is the Ian Creation. Just made a uh, turnable 55 gallon barrel compost bin. And I'll take you through about one minute here of explanation of what we have going on. And I'm going to try a new uh, version of video editing of taking stills and narrating with uh, my video editing software. So basically we got the feet are made out of 4x4 four four posts with 2x4 bracing and all the wood is pressure treated because it's going to be sitting outside in the elements. These top pieces are 2x6 and so are the back pieces there and that bottom brace. On top here we have a 55 gallon plastic drum and cut a hole in the middle, reinforce the opening with the aluminum, pop riveted the aluminum on, put some hinges on and a little latch Okay. Uh, inside, you can see I have, I took a piece of 4 inch PVC, cut it in half, it's about, I would say 2 feet long, cut it in half, and they act as paddles. There's one there and there's one there, if you can see that. So there's two pieces in there that act as paddles. When you turn this thing, uh, it will mix the compost inside. Uh, so I mounted the barrel on caster wheels. These are just, they look like two inch caster wheels at Home Depot. And so instead of um, having to punch a hole through the middle and put a, some sort of rod through it, uh, this avoids that. Uh, yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. I will be posting update videos on how to make the compost because that is something I'm not very familiar with at all so that's going to be a learning process for me and um, hopefully I can have others can learn from my mistakes if you have any questions let me know thanks okay here we go this is trial number two I recorded everything for about four minutes of uh, detail on how I built this thing and didn't record any audio so this is trial number two I want to go through some other details on how I made this thing in certain dimensions. Uh, first of all, the height was three feet, and that is slightly arbitrary. You can change that the way you want. Uh, planned it so that you can wheel a wheelbarrow underneath the opening here and uh, get soil out if you wanted to, if it gets full. But the only caveat to that is make sure if you <laughs> see, I don't have a wheelbarrow, so I have to purchase one. Uh, if you have one, measure the width of the wheelbarrow and make sure that this width right here is wide enough for the wheelbarrow because I think this is a little bit narrow. Now this width between the, from the inside to the inside is about 28 inches and I measured that. I basically went from the bottom of the blue barrel six inches up, from the top six inches down and measured that. So basically I took 12 inches away from the total height just because I didn't want these wheels rolling on the very edge and see how this is slightly uh, beveled in. I wanted it rolling on more of a perfectly cylindrical surface. So 20, uh, 12 minus the total height gave me about 28. Plus having these 2x6s mounted on the top gives me some wiggle room. I can move these casters a couple inches to the inside or a couple inches to the outside. Now the whole thing was put together with uh, Rather, the, the wood itself and the frame was put together with three inch exterior uh, wood screws. Let's see, moving on here, better picture. Uh, so, this isn't the Mona Lisa, it's not the Taj Mahal. There's obviously some cutting issues down here, um, but not a big deal to me. Uh, this aluminum is a four foot piece, I cut it with a hacksaw. And these hinges and the latch is pretty standard in any home improvement store. I will tell you this though, the screws that all of these, all this hardware comes with 
are probably one inch or three quarter inch wood screws. Something you're gonna have to buy is some machine screws, about, I would say, three quarter inch machine screws with nuts are a must because the wood screws aren't gonna bite into anything because there's nothing behind this piece of plastic except for air. You know, this plastic is about between a quarter and three eighths of an inch thick. So you've gotta get bolts for that. And this is just pop riveted in. Uh, and another thing to note is that if you cut this out, you can kind of see how this this door is bending. It's starting to it's starting to warp a little bit relative to the rest of the uh, barrel. So that's not really a big deal. It just might mean that you have to push this down as you get the as you as you latch it every time you open it. Moving down, just another better picture of the of the door. Uh, these handles are just light duty or medium duty screen door handles again put in with the same three quarter inch machine screws with the nuts and I have two of them on this one three is a good number two is kind of pushing it because you had to really get the momentum going on this thing and, and and push it so you can get the so you can reach the other handle on the top uh, so again these paddles it's a piece of four inch PVC cut in half and with these paddles, I actually had to go back to Home Depot for a second trip. I bought uh, one inch, or maybe it was three quarter inch um, carriage bolts. So they're thicker, they're galvanized, so they resist rust and corrosion because this thing is going to be rank. I mean, it's going to be full of banana peels and lots of moisture. So you want to get something that doesn't rust and corrode after a couple years. And um, the, the machine bolts, which you can see right here, um, would not have cut it uh, to mount this piece of PVC on. So I bought carriage bolts or, or lag bolts, um, lag screws with uh, nuts would work as well. But you want something a little bit stronger. And let's see if I have a picture of that. No, I don't. But you want something stronger than these little machine screws to hold this on. Another picture of the door. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason why... I uh, punched so many holes. <coughs> hey, uh, I just took a half inch drill bit and punched some holes in it. I might have to punch more later to get some more ventilation, but we'll see. It's a learning process for me. And here's another look without the barrel on top. Again, this is just four caster wheels. I put the caster wheels a certain distance apart um, to allow about an inch of space underneath between the barrel and the top of the 2x6 because I was thinking if you weigh this barrel down with a couple hundred pounds of compost it might it might sag a little bit and you want a little bit of wiggle room let me know if you have any questions I appreciate it guys thanks